Nathan again from the ebookreader.com. I'm going to give you guys a second review of the Pan Digital Planet because my first review kind of got off track installing the firmware update which uninstalled the Kindle app and installed the Barnes & Noble Nook app. I don't know, that was kind of crazy, but it doesn't really matter a whole lot anyway because you can use this app to download the Kindle app if you want. Uh, you can download a lot of other apps through here too. One thing I would suggest is downloading the Dolphin browser. Works a lot better than the stock Android browser, so that's just how you install apps and then it will download and we'll get back to that. So, the Pan Digital Planet has these hardware buttons down here. Uh, you got the home button, menu, um, that's the back button, and search. Sometimes they take a couple of times to hit, I don't know, sometimes like the first time you hit it, it lights the light, and the second time you hit it, it actually activates it. So there's some other uh, hardware features we got here. It's the, uh, we got a mini uh, HDMI port. Uh, there's volume buttons right there and the power slide. On the back, there is a camera uh, speaker. Uh, on top we got a micro a SD card slot. It actually comes with a micro SD card, a 2 gigabyte card. Now uh, that's the USB port and the charger. So on the front we've also got another camera. Uh, there's also a microphone down here. So yeah, it's got pretty good uh, hardware. I mean, it's not good hardware, it's cheap hardware, but it's uh, got a good amount of hardware options. I kind of like the mini HDMI port. It works good for watching Netflix and stuff, uh, streaming it to your TV. Um, so let's move on to some of the apps here. So the other video I showed the Kindle app because that's what was working at the time. It still works, so I, like I said, I reinstalled it and you've still got the same setup going in there. So, let's throw, I'll show you how the Barnes & Noble Nook app works since that will come pre-installed on most of the devices. So, if you've seen my Pen Digital Nova review, this is going to be the same exact deal here. you got your Barnes & Noble library, you can sideload EPUB and PDFs into here as well. And you've got the layout that looks just like this. Uh, you've got different font sizes, of course. Some different options up here. You got night mode. You can add bookmarks. And then uh, there's a table of contents right here. You can run searches. Uh, so when you add um, notes and highlights, you uh, bookmarks and stuff, actually, you get those right here too. To add those, you just highlight or hold down on a word. And you get all the options to add notes or highlights. Let's do this again over here. That one's the add notes, and it'll bring up the option. And we've also got search. Uh, you can uh, search on Google too. And we've also got the dictionary, which opens up the actual dictionary app. So one thing about the uh, Nook app here is you can actually use the buttons down here to turn pages. That doesn't work with the Kindle app. You have to tap on the screen, do the swiping like that. We've also got landscape mode too. If you automatically, when you turn it, it will automatically change. So yeah, that, that's how this works for the Barnes & Noble app. And then you can also get magazines and newspapers through here. Um, so it syncs with your Barnes & Noble library, which takes forever every time you log into there. And then you've got the Bookstar over there, where you can actually shop for more books. See, that's what, this app is, drives me nuts because how slow it is. But uh, yeah, you've got the little widget here too, which you can remove if you want to. This shows you the latest read books. So you pop up other widgets just by going like this. my books that's the one okay so yeah you got the other Android apps on here I haven't installed anything yet other than the Amazon app like I showed you and then um, so we downloaded that uh, um, Dolphin app we can actually go down into here you can one way to do it is you can go to the app installer thing or you can just go in here to the um, into this to install apps so I got Netflix on there from before so that's how you can install different apps um, I use the Amazon App Store. I don't have an installed on here yet because I had to reset the thing. But uh, that's another good source to getting apps for the Pan Digital Planet. I'll also put together a, um, this just takes entirely too long. I'll put together a video on how to install the Android Market under this because you can do that just the same as you can with the Pan Digital Nova like I showed earlier. So I'll get into that as well. So we got the other stuff on here. You've got the basic version of Office Suites. Um, this runs, I guess I didn't mention it yet, it runs Android 2.2. Um, I think they're going to be updating to 2.3, at least that's what they said they will. So that'll be kind of nice once that gets set up and going. So this one comes with 2 gigabytes of memory, so you've got about 1.3 available. Um, and we've got about 185 for apps. I haven't really installed anything, like I said, so that's pretty much what you can have available. Okay, so one thing worth noting is this thing has a resistive touch screen, but it, um, it supports multi-touch. So you can actually 
do pinch zooming where that's available. So that works in the Dolphin browser. It doesn't work in the regular Android browsers, which is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, if you install this browser, you can get the uh, pinch zooming once it loads up here. Everything, it'll import your bookmarks from the other browser. So yeah, you got the pinch zooming. You just got more features with this. You got the tabbed browsing up here. Now you got your bookmarks list over here. So I kind of like this uh, browser. It works a lot better than the stock Android browser. So that's something you probably want to install right away. Okay, so you've got these other apps. We've got the cameras, like I said. You got front and rear facing cameras. Obviously, you've got video player music. So the video player on these devices is actually um, pretty decent um, as far as lag. There's not really much lag or anything. I don't know what this is about. I guess it just came pre-installed on this. But yeah, video playback is pretty smooth. And like I said, you can hook it up to your TV with the HDMI. I've been doing that with Netflix. The Planet plays Netflix pretty well, but it does kind of lag every once in a while. It'll do this little lag thing, but uh, it's not too annoying as far as mobile devices go. Okay, so some of the other apps you got pre-installed is the Uplayer. So this is kind of like a s trimmed down version of YouTube. You got videos in here, but it's not all of YouTube. I have this other app on my website. You can run a search for the YouTube on Pan Digital, and you'll probably find it for the um, full YouTube app to download. Okay, so this is just a look at some of the other pre-installed apps that come with it. You've obviously got the regular Android apps. You've got the calculator. You've got the calendar you can sync with your account, uh, the clock. Uh, they've got this dictionary app installed on here, so that's just like when you um, look up a word in the Nook uh, book dictionary, uh, it pops up this dictionary automatically. We've also got um, the email. If you want to set up your email account on here, you can. And the file explorer. So this isn't actually a Facebook app. It's just for a bookmark for your web browser. Um, we've also got the firmware update, which perpetually keeps saying it has a new firmware update from here lately, so I don't know what its deal is. Um, we've got slideshows, of course you can view images, and I showed you earlier the video, so uh, that's just all the regular stuff you get with the Android tablets here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review. I pretty much showed you all the base apps, and you can install a bunch of other apps because it's got the Froyo operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review, like I said, and check out the ebookreader.com. I'll have more details in the written review, and I'll also have links and a uh, tutorial on how to set up the Android market uh, so you can get all the apps that you want on this thing. So uh, thank you for watching.